Question for you. You have the URL of the latest version of your favorite Linux distribution, but you don't want to go through the hassle of going through the web browser to download it. What do you do? If this is you, I'm going to show you what to do. This is B from Tay Talk Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to download a file from a website in Linux with one command. Stick with me. I've got a favorite ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like it, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it, give it a dislike if you didn't like it, and let me know what you liked didn't like, or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or emotional outbursts down in, down in the comments below. And lastly, make sure you stick around all the way to the end to catch the example. Let's go ahead and switch to the desktop. All right, so the command that we're going to be talking about today is going to be wget. Uh, it's an interactive, it's a, I'm sorry, it's a non-interactive network downloader that allows you to download files directly from the terminal. Using this command saves you the hassle of going through the web browser and easily specify where you want to go where you want the file to go and what you want to name the file. So with this particular command, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use wget, of course, and we're going to do tac o because tac o is going to allow us to specify exactly where we want that where we want that download to go. Now, the next thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you put in a file location and file name. All right, and then we're going to do Linux Mint. 21.iso and I am actually downloading an ISO into the fold into the ISO folder that I use for my um, for my virtual machines on this system. Now here we we set it we got the o, we got the w get we got the tac capital o and make sure it is a capital o there is a difference between the capital o and the lowercase o i've got my location and file name and now what i need is i need to go ahead and put in the url all right also sometimes referred to as a URI. Let me go ahead and get that in there. We're gonna put a space there and then we're gonna just go ahead and paste that in there. Perfect. And we can see that here. You're gonna need the full website location for that file that you wanna download. So go ahead and hit enter and whoops, gotta go ahead and give it a sudo because of the location. Let's go ahead and get this in there. Perfect. And awesome, it's already downloading. So. It's gonna, like the cool thing about this is, is it's not only gonna download it for you, but it's also gonna let you see the status. It's gonna tell you like the, the download speeds and all that stuff uh, of the file so you know how long it's gonna last. And you know, if you need to go up and get a drink or something, you can go ahead and do that. So awesome, right? Pretty easy. Now go forth and download all the files from your terminal. Make sure you check out the other videos from my one command series. If you're caught up, check out this other video instead. Thank you so much for watching my video and have the greatest of days.